Hi there, it's Christine over here. Thank you for clicking in this video and welcome to my channel where I talk about my passion for handbags of mostly contemporary and sometimes on a very rare occasion, some luxury items. And in today's video, I'm actually gonna be sharing you guys what I got from Fashion File. This is my very first purchase from Fashion File. And I'm also gonna be sharing a little bit of knickknacks here that I got from the mall today because I went to the mall with my husband and my kids, our kids actually. And we just kind of wanted to stroll around, kill some time, and spend some time because we haven't really spent time together. We were very busy people. So yeah, so today I just wanted to quickly share my small haul. So let's just jump right into it. So in Sephora, I just picked out one of the essentials that I need and I found out that they had Glamnetics, press on nails, and I recently just got into some press on nails and Glamnetics has been the best press on nails I've tried so far and this is the second set I am wearing from Glamnetic and they haven't budged and I haven't re-glued them at all and this is going to be the first week and I do wash bottles I wash dishes and sometimes I cook and then I type all day and then sometimes I work at the actual pharmacy so they are just there and which is nice and so I did pick up two sets from um, Sephora this is the colorful ones which I think is cute for the Easter that's coming up and then this one is just a brown but metallic looking so it looks more like um bronze i guess that's how i would put it and these are the almond shapes and the lengths are just the decent length they're not super long they're not super short either so these are really nice and then of course i just got my favorite all-time favorite lancome spf a facial spf um aqua gel defense 50 plus that's that that I got from Sephora and I did pick up one item from Nordstrom. Um, it's just a pair of earrings and it's by Nordstrom and it looks like a jelly bean but kind of like a teardrop but not really a teardrop because it doesn't shape like it but it's that and it looks really cute. It's not oversized. It's just a decent size for my small face and I really like that and it's only $25 if you're looking for a Bottega Veneta dupe. Um, try the Nordstrom ones. All right, and then also uh, my husband got me my very first pair of New Balance when we went to Shrew Palace. He saw these and he was like, "Look, this looks like it's gonna look good on you. So that's very thoughtful of him. Of him. So he got me this pair. It, he said 550 and I am in my 30s, so I'm not really following the trend, but he knows the trend because he's a teacher. So he sees these every day. And he thought that I would look good in these shoes, that I would rock them. So he got these for me and they look really nice. They are so comfortable as well. They're quite heavy though and I'm not really used to that. But when I put these on, they're actually really comfortable. But to carry it like this, it does feel quite heavy compared to my um, Adidas um, Boost. So that's that. And these are actually priced... Um, at a decent price. I didn't expect it to only be a hundred dollars because aren't shoes usually like a hundred and fifty? See, I haven't even bought um, sports shoes recently or in a while, so I wouldn't know their price. Anyways, let's now talk about what this video is really all about, which is revealing my very first purchase from Fashion File. So, backstory: I had no intention of buying this this early because I don't normally shop until towards the end of the year, which is around October, November, December, because October one is my fate, my birth month. And then November is like Black Friday. And then December, you just shop your life to the holiday sale. And so basically I don't shop from January to like September. Now I do have some checklists for this year and this kind of marked it off already. And I am on a no buy bag. And at the same time, sell some before buying a new one. Now, when I was looking through Fashion File, I did some of my research on how to purchase them so that you can kind of manage your expectations. And so after going through the list of this bag in Fashion File, I saw that this may be just the best one out of all the list and then price is a decent price. So this is $600 off of the retail value. One, for it being pre-loved. Two, it's missing a tassel. And I'm okay not having a tassel because I'm most likely going to remove the tassel anyway. And then um, they did disclose that there are some scratches on the hardware and there are some oil stains on the handles. But when I received the bag, I had no expectations that I'm actually gonna like it. I just wanted to experience it myself. 
how fashion file is or how purchasing fashion file how purchasing a bag from fashion file i'm sorry and then so when i got it i inspected the bag and i'm like it almost looks like there's no signs of wear and tear it looks pretty good well taken care of and i am very happy that it did come in like that now i had a board exam scheduled for um scheduled on march 4th and i purchased this around february 26 and it came on february 28 and maybe wrong maybe my dates are off but i did purchase this way before my board exam and i remember telling myself like oh i'm just gonna buy something for myself if i do pass my board exam and then, and then when i saw this one and i'm pretty convinced that this is the one that i want um i went ahead and purchased it anyway because i don't want this to go to someone else's hands before I pass my exam. And then next thing I know, oh, it's not available anymore. So I just end up getting something else that I am not really into, if you know what I'm saying. So I hope that made sense. Anyways, um, I did pass the board exam. So yay, I did this for the bag. But when I did receive the bag though, I wasn't overly convinced of like keeping it because I told myself, okay, I'm just gonna try to experience it. If I don't like it, I'll just, I won't cut the tag and send it back to the flagship and then I really liked the bag and then maybe I had it for like about five days without me removing the tag like I would just look at it and adore it and then my husband would look at it with me and he goes you should keep the bag you deserve it and I go no I don't know if I deserve the bag I am really like hesitant of like keeping the bag and then when we looked at the date code of the bag we found out that this bag was actually made in 2020 or i don't know if 2020 or 2021 i'm gonna have to double check but the point is whichever year it was it was made in the week of my birthday and so we were like you know what maybe that's the sign and then we did cut off the tag and i ended up keeping the bag and here it is let's go reveal the bag so it came in in the fashion file box actually i'm gonna go ahead and show you the fashion file box so just like that and it came in with that tissue that's um labeled new is the new new wait sorry use this the new new and then it came in with those little confetti and then it came in the gray dust bag by fashion file and then i got a louis vuitton handbag so that's a dust bag and I got the Damier Event, the Crescent and Damier Event, or Damier Event. Sorry, I don't know how to say it. Sorry, guys. But that's the bag in all its glory. It looks very nice and almost no flaw. And they said that there are some oil stains on the handle. I honestly don't see any. And then some scratches on the hardware, which is very minimal when I received it. I'm like, that's not even an issue nothing on these deerings either and i am so so happy that i got this like i'm so glad that whoever bought this bag they really took care of this bag and they kept it nice for me to have in the future which is today or this time around i am the second owner of the bag and here it is with the red interior it came with the strap some of the bags that they sell in fashion file does not come with the strap so please read the details so this one came with the strap and then it's just the red interior there. So I did use this for about a week and I stopped because I kind of want to preserve it in a way because I did order a insert for this bag from Zumani and I'm just waiting for it. And as soon as that gets in, I'm going to reuse my bag again. And so this is the authentic authenticity card, sorry, right there, fashion file, and then certificate of authenticity. And then on here it says Louis Vuitton Demier Iban Crisette comes with dust bag strap not included tassel so i i was aware of it not having the tassel and yeah and then it is made in france and then the date code on here it says fl4230 i forgot but i read it on the website and it said something about um week 42 and then something something and then the year but either way when i checked the date code this was actually made during my um on the week of my birthday so that was the sign that i should keep the bag 
and yeah the bag is beautiful it is really nice and i'm so happy and i just wanted to share that that was my first experience with fashion file i did try to go into fashion file in person before but they didn't let me in because they came in like around 4 30 and they closed at 5 this was in san diego they had security guard they were very strict they won't let you in unless you have like an appointment and i do respect that and i was just kind of bummed because it did say on their website like they're they do welcome walk-ins but i guess because they came in 30 minutes before they cl they're closing they just didn't let me in but i'm like I drove far away like I really drove far and I called earlier and they said yeah we do we accept walk-ins but then when we got there it was already 4 30 so yeah that's fine though so I guess I wasn't meant to get anything or even shop that day so that's cool at least my very first purchase was a great one and I'm very happy with it so I did cut off the tag there I cut off the fashion file tag and then i'm keeping it it is mine it is officially mine and i really like it and yeah that's all i really have for you guys today hope you did like this video and if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channels for more um contents that i am about to make yeah and then also uh, please comment down below if you've purchased anything from fashion file or ever from any pre-love market and what's your experience and also if you are an experienced seller in fashion file please comment down below because i want to sell some of the stuff that i have here through fashion file sometimes they don't give you a decent price so if there's any trick to how i can get a better deal comment down below share it with me i do want to know the tips and tricks and so yeah thank you guys for watching and till next time bye